Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the channel. We're getting ready to start our day with some Tim Hortons coffee. Are you worried? Is your blood pressure going up while I record this? <laughs> Ooh. So now it's my turn. Holy crap. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. Why? I think I'm gonna Why? die. <laughs> Better call 911. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that up there. Holy crap. You better try that again. I think we better. Try that again. <laughs> Whew. That's, that's got my blood pressure up. <laughs> wow. I don't suppose it had anything to do with that giant whopper I just had <laughs> in Hershey Pie. So much for that schoolgirl blood pressure you had 10 years ago. Wow. Oh my God. Look at my pulse rate. What are you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to sit here all day until that goes down. <laughs> so I wanted to take a few minutes to share something a little special with you. My wife works a contract job and she drives to St. John from St. Stephen every day. And we figured it out a little while ago. She puts on about 82,000 kilometers a year. I'm not sure what the math is on that for miles, but I think if you figure it out, it's probably somewhere around 50, 55,000 miles a year. And so she spends a lot of time in her van, and her van is a 2006 Toyota Sienna. Now we've had this van for almost four years. We keep up the maintenance on it. We do timing belts every uh, 100,000 kilometers or so. Uh, a couple sets of tires a year, uh, brakes, all that sort of thing. And like I said, what makes this van special is the fact that she puts a ton of miles on it. And considering the year of the van, it's 12 years old, and the miles that she puts on, it's in really good shape. But it is starting to show its age. So I just want to take a few minutes and show you just exactly um, what this van is and, and uh, it's basically her office on wheels. So besides the driver's side door, she's in and out of her van several times a day and the sliding door handle on the driver's side is broken. And it's not the first time it's broken. And because she's in and out of this van so many times a day, it, uh, it, it takes a little bit of an abuse. So besides the fact that this door probably gets used 20 or 30 times a day, there's no reason why that door handle should have lasted longer than it already has. But she could have set the example on this van for quality control for Toyota. Um, you know, she's got several stops along the way. She's in and out. The, the tailgate hatch opens and closes, and when it gets really cold, the pistons don't stay up on it anymore. But, uh, you know, the door gets used, well used. So I don't know if you can see it, but last year we had to put new hinges on the door. They're black now. They used to be painted blue, same as the vehicle. So the other thing that I wanted to share with you was just the exact number of miles that's on this van. 371,295. And I just did the quick calculation on my phone, and that works out to 594,072 kilometers. So this thing is just about ready to roll over 600,000 kilometers. And I mean, this is typical. I see that she's got the gas light on, and when I questioned in my mind, I wonder how many kilometers or miles are left on the distance to empty. So I looked up here and what do you know? Two miles or three kilometers, which coincidentally is the distance to the closest gas station. 
Actually, that's not true because the Red Rooster is down that way and the Irving is that way. And we generally get our gas at the Irving uh, because it offers air miles and, you know, we swipe our air miles get some free stuff. Anyways, like I said, this is her office on wheels. Uh, you know, so she's got her uh, radio there that she can listen to her podcast while she drives. I did install an aftermarket heated seat which at this point, because, you know, just the wear and tear, it works intermittently. In the back, get some light here for you. In the back, it gets well used. The passenger side sliding door handle is missing some parts because we've had to repair that a few times. All in all, it's a pretty good van. And we've certainly got our money's worth out of it and there's not very much rust on it except for one little spot on the rocker panel on the passenger side and as far as damage to the vehicle you saw the inside door handle the outside door handle on this side is uh, is bad but uh and she did have somebody i'm not sure if you can see this or not but she did have somebody back into her in a parking lot so they backed into this door and, and dented it in a little bit and Last winter, when she was at the loading dock at the hospital, somebody in a big five-ton truck literally backed over the hood. And the insurance company wanted to write it off because it was like, you know, almost $2,000 worth of damage on a van that, with that kind of mileage, is probably not worth a whole lot. But we argued with them, and uh, they, they put it through because we've never had a claim, or she's never had a claim. And I would never say this to her face, but, you know, she really is a pretty good driver. I decided that I would take the van to the Irving to get gas, which is further away than the Red Rooster. And we're cutting her close. I don't know how much reserve this thing has left in it. Once it hits zero kilometers, but uh, we're going to press on. Still showing one kilometer empty. But no worries. The Irving is right there. We made it. Still showing one kilometer. that just about does it for this video if you like what you see please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more content hit the subscribe button here to watch more videos hit the box there thanks again and we'll see you next time